Hey there everybody, this is Paul from Aerographical and uh, today we're going to look at how we can use PowerPoint to produce things like posters and other printed material. Um, PowerPoint can do more than actually just presentations and if you haven't got uh, a graphic design tool like Photoshop or, or another photo editor, it is quite easy uh, to use PowerPoint to produce some pretty cool posters and other non uh, presentation material. So that's what we're going to look at today. So to start off with we've just got a basic PowerPoint slide here and we're just going to look at how we can change the size and resolution uh, to look more like a poster. So uh, what I'm going to do first is just get rid of this standard uh, stuff on the slide because we don't really need this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to design. Okay, We're going to go design size and we're going to click on the custom side slides. So what this allows us to do is we can then select uh, a lot of different sizes we need. Uh, we can even go custom so we can actually put our own sizes and heights in here or we can just go for an A3 or A4 or different paper sizes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go for an A4 and we're going to go for portrait and we're going to OK. Uh, it doesn't matter about this because we've got nothing on the uh, slide anyway so if we just go for maximize. So you can see now we've got a nice A4 sort of looking slide so this is the basis of our poster. Why would you use a kind of PowerPoint for this? It's, it's basically because PowerPoint's got some pretty cool drawing tools and it's actually really really easy to use and it allows you to build some uh, kind of good graphics without very much sort of technical know-how on how to use graphic design or Photoshop or any other tools and it can be really quick so what we're gonna do first of all is we'll put a, a bit of a title in there so we'll go for a shape and we'll just put a uh, header in there for a minute just to give it a bit of a title and what I'll do is I'll just give it a black color and I'll, I don't want to give it an outline so it's just a block of black so nothing too strenuous there second thing I think I'm going to insert a little title so we'll go for a word art and something which will fit so I think I'll go for that one there and I'm going to be designing a helicopter poster today but you can be designing anything you want so for me it's going to be helicopter uh, safety that's going to be the title so I'm going to then just move this up oops to the top of my poster there which I think looks really cool so first of all there we have it we have a little title and a little uh, kind of um, title background there so next thing we're going to look at bringing some content in so I've got some graphics here which I've made up uh, in the previously so I'm just going to drag and drop my graphics into my presentation so I'm going to be using this little uh, helicopter which I've made and I'm also going to be using a set of blades as well so I've got a nice little blurred blade there and I've got a nice little helicopter so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that up to upright and I'm just going to make it slightly bigger so it just makes it look nicer so there we go so I've got my helicopter in the middle and I've got a set of blades which I can then just rotate out the way there so again nothing too strenuous there we've just got a couple of items on the poster now so uh, let's have a look at adding some detail to our poster so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some sort of uh, color to indicate the safe ways to get into a helicopter and where you shouldn't be walking so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert a shape and I'm just going to draw a rectangle around the back of the aircraft like that. Okay, so and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to go quickly give it a red color and I don't want a shape outline. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to edit shape. And I'm going to edit the point and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these points in a slightly and I'm just going to drag them out like that. So just, I'm not going to be too exact today, but I'll just use my keys to get it in the right position. I'll edit shape again, edit points, because what I want to do is I want to look at taking these handles and I'm just going to pull these out slightly just to allow us, me to get a nice little rounded shape at the bottom. And what I might do is actually might bring that out slightly more because I want that bigger 
and that looks great so what I'll do is I'm just gonna send that to the back so we can now see we've got a nice little shape on the back now what you might find is now you've got multiple shapes on your uh, slide you might find selecting some of them are very difficult because now I, you can see I can't select that uh, background little um, rectangle there so there's a good little tip within PowerPoint not a lot of people know about which is the selection pane so if you go up here and go selection display the selection pane what this allows you to do is it allows you to select the different layers so if you have a complex slide with lots of content on this comes really really handy because you can just select each individual and what I tend to do as well is you can rename the stuff as well so if we go uh, for example that one there is the header I'm not sure why I'm doing it in capitals but <laughs> uh, it'll do for now and we'll go a title uh, and that is the helicopter and then the final one is the blades okay so again now it's much easier for us now to select the items now if I want to have a look at that uh, red warning I just select it now and it'll allow me to kind of move it as I want to now so I can move it wherever I want and it just it makes it so much easier to select multiple items when it's on different layers on the slide so continuing so what I want is I want a little green um, triangle down here which will make it uh, so the safety margins for the helicopter so I'm gonna insert again shape rectangle and I'm again I'm just gonna draw a quick rectangle here I'm gonna go shape fill and what I want is a nice green color so I'm gonna go standard and that one there and go okay I don't want to shape outline again no outline and again what I'm gonna do I'm gonna edit the point so so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring that one down there like that bring that one down there and all I'm going to do is just bring that one up like that and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these points just to give me a bit of a rounded shape so you can see in PowerPoint that, that it's actually a quite a powerful little drawing tool really because you can manipulate these shapes really nicely so if we go green green green, oh green green that's better can't spell and again if I want to put that at the back basically what I can do is I can just drag and drop that behind the helicopter and that allows me to kind of again manipulate the different layers on the slide so it makes it really easy um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little a bit of a warning triangle at the bottom here so again insert shape and I'll go for a triangle about there that'll do and again shape, shape fill and I'm going to go for a nice orange and I'm going to go for black but this time I'm just going to make the weight slightly bigger because I want it a bit more warning symbly that's it so again get that out of the way and I'm going to insert just a bit of uh, text now so just a text box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a little exclamation mark there and I'm just going to make that 90 okay and again I'm just make Throw that in the middle there like that and just make that slightly smaller. Oops, can't. So what we'll do is we'll just make that 88. 88. And we'll just make that. So we can just get that in the middle. Uh, and we'll just use my arrow keys to get that in the middle. And I'll just make that slightly bigger to make it easier already. That's better. Well, made, made hard work of this, I think, haven't I? <laughs> Here we go. So, and what we'll do is we'll just select both of those and we'll go Control G to group. And we've just got a grouped symbol there. So, we can still go into each bit of it, but we can now select it as a whole and drag that into a position we want there, like that. So, let's have a look. Um, looking pretty good, if, but I'm not too keen on that white background. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Uh, format background on the slide 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a gradient fill. So, uh, and what I'll do is I'll drag that one up like that. And what I'll do is I'll just make that a black, a black color. Now that's better, isn't it? So, uh, we can't really distinguish the header from the color now. So, what I'm going to do is just insert a quick shape again, and I'll just basically put that up there like that. And I'll just shape fill that one white, and shape that line as zero. Uh, no outline. So now, get that to fit. So now we're looking somewhere near. Now we can put a logo on. We can put more text, uh, and do what you want. But now you can see, very quickly, we've produced a pretty cool little poster. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that slightly transparent because I don't like that too bright. And again, for the background, because I can't select it, I can go to the red warning. And again, transparent, just make that slightly like that. So here we are, our finished little poster. So we've looked at how we can just put stuff on the slide, how we can change the slide uh, size, how we can select things and, and basically just build a non presentation. Um, element within PowerPoint. So what we can do now is just quickly go to, we can save it as a PDF which will print really nicely or again if we don't want to do that we can export it. Um, so no we can't. So we can <laughs> save as and again we can save it as a PNG if you want to. So if we select PNG and go save. All slides are only one anyway so it makes no difference. And it'll take a while because yeah awesome and again so that will then allow us to kind of then produce a png which we can then print out and use as posters and whatever so just a brief overview on how we can use powerpoint uh to produce posters and other printed material so hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time thank you